Welcome to another episode of Carolina Cart Scene where we saw Mother Nature throw a curveball for a lot of different tracks across the region. Saw some cancellations, some race tracks running it on Friday night and Sunday, and then also saw a big flip of tracks for Paradise Speedway running the WKA race uh, this past weekend. So there's a lot of more tracks coming up this week, so let's get to it. First up is Liberty Raceway Park in Stanley, North Carolina. They got a lot of guaranteed money on the line in Clone 390, Clone Heavy 375, and so forth throughout the night. Uh, these are open tire classes, so definitely you can be interested in to watch them. I've talked to my junior driver, and it's probably more than likely where we're going to end up racing this weekend. So definitely check them out. Next up running in North Carolina is Mountain Creek Speedway in Catawba, North Carolina. They're actually going to be putting on a two-day show. On April the 29th, they'll have flat carts and mini mods with April 30th, outlaw carts and micros. Uh, if you catch them on their Facebook page, they have some highlights of their 600cc uh, race that they had on presented by Bell Helmets. And it was a really great show. So definitely check out their Facebook page and also check out the track and hopefully you can get out and support them. Next up is Old State Line Speedway in Lawsonville, North Carolina. They're going to have several different classes, Pro Senior Champ, Pro 375, and $500 to win. Uh, they're going to be opening the gates at 10 with practice starting at 2 o'clock. So definitely uh, something to look forward to. I'm still trying to get to this racetrack. It's not that far for us. Uh, so I'm really looking forward to possibly racing here in the future. Another racetrack running in North Carolina is Horsepower Park Go-Kart Speedway in Morganton, North Carolina. This is a relatively new track that's doing a lot of great service by adding more and more classes and it looks like they're having a lot of success. And so this one they're actually going to have three different classes of money classes, Clone 375, Young Guns. Uh, so this is a great track to get out and experience. Uh, gates open at 10 a.m., practice starting at 12 and qualifying starting at 1. Uh, also, they run in box stock classes, so this is definitely a great track to get out and support. Next up in South Carolina is Foothills Raceway in Easley, South Carolina. This was actually one of the few tracks that did get the race this past weekend, where they had the Big 3 Series in town. They were actually able to run on Friday night and Saturday and get a lot of action in. Uh, this coming week, they'll be doing another weekly show, but they'll also again be running on Friday night, April the 28th, so definitely go check them out. Next up is Warrior Creek Speedway in Great Court, South Carolina. This past weekend, they were actually one of the few tracks that was able to run in the area, and they put on a great show with their treaded event. Uh, this coming weekend, they'll be running again with 500 to win in Clone 375 and Clone 425. They also have a $100 bonus to the largest kids class that it gets out. This is a Maxxis tire event, and so definitely a, a race to check out. Next up is Paradise Raceway in Cellar, South Carolina. They'll be running their Paradise Under the Lights race. There's a lot of different classes on the line between Pro Clone Heavy, Super Heavy, and also a No Pro Shootout. We're seeing a lot more of the No Pro classes at a lot of different racetracks throughout the region, so it's definitely something to check out. Uh, gates opening up at 1 p.m. with practice starting at 4 p.m., and so this is going to be a great event to get out to.